Hi there, this is Dr. John Whitcomb talking about Biotoxin 10 lowering MMP9. Ever heard of MMP9? I hadn't. And what's going on in Biotoxin? Well, in summary, 25% of us can't see, our immune system can't see biotoxins. They get into us and circulate and they attach to toll receptor all over our body uh, in fat cells and the fat cells get upset and they set off a whole host like a mist of cytokines. There's a couple, probably a couple hundred of them. But the summary effect is those cytokines damage your leptin receptor in your brain, in your hypothalamus, your lizard brain, and that damages three critical pituitary hormones or hypothalamic hormones. But that's what we're talking about this week is MMP9, and that's the mediator of the, all this cytokine damage. It's not a cytokine itself, it's a protein, and it gets elevated. And what it allows is all those biotoxins to burrow into spaces they shouldn't be. Understanding your blood vessels, you have a membrane underneath your blood vessel that's the last barrier to entry before biotoxins get to the cell. So your blood vessel really is pretty close to outside stuff. Things you breathe in or things you eat can get into blood pretty easily. But now there's that final barrier. And that's the gooey mix, the intracellular matrix at the base of your membranes in your blood vessels. MMP9 allows biotoxins to penetrate that. Sounds horrible. And in fact, MMP9 levels correlate with your feeling horrible. The higher it is, the worse people feel. How do you lower it? Well, this is the genius fun part. It's actually not so hard. It turns out there's a whole class of drugs developed for diabetes. Uh, Actos or pioglitazone is one of them in the example family. And what they do is they turn on a gene called the PPAR receptor. And that down regulates MMP9, just like that. Now, what's most interesting is it doesn't work, it doesn't downregulate it if you're eating anything that stimulates insulin. And what stimulates insulin the most avidly are amylose containing foods. And amylose is the most efficient way that plants store sugar or glucose. And so grains and bananas and root vegetables are the particular offenders uh, because you have amylase, the enzyme amylase in your saliva. So when you eat amylose, Amylase can unzip hundreds of thousands of molecules of glucose per second. And that sets off insulin and that completely blocks MMP. That completely blocks salvaging MMP9. So the solution, go on an amylose-free diet, take actose, and in a month your MMP9 will be better. And what's the secret here is also those folks who get stuck and can't lose weight oftentimes are people who have biotoxin illness. So if they take Actos for a month or two and take a, and get on an amylose-free diet, it's very close to a ketogenic diet. They can lose weight. What will work for me? Well, I'm finding high MMP9 all the time in my clients, and I've tried a bunch of them on piglitazone, and son of a gun, it works. Not only that, they seem to lose weight, which doesn't make anybody unhappy. This is Dr. John Whitcomb, wishing you the very best. Biotoxin 12, 10, how to lower, how to lower MMP9.